Good morning, Modern Status. We ended up getting a lot more snow than I thought we were gonna get. Well, that roof doesn't show it too good. It was pretty windy last night, but we got quite a bit of snow. I gotta do some plowing and clean up the yard. Then I gotta go to the dentist, get my teeth cleaned, and we gotta pick up some stuff for the shipping container project so we can make our custom chimney kit for that. So let's get plowing and then we'll run to the dentist. Now that we have that cleaned up, let's head to town and get our teeth cleaned. And then 
we gotta go pick up our custom stuff for our chimney. I shouldn't say custom stuff, we gotta go pick up some metal work so we can make our custom work for our chimney in the off-grid shipping container. It's gonna be nice to have a wood stove in the shipping container. to the dentist gonna go get my teeth cleaned and I'll be right back I'll see you in a second well that was easy my teeth feel curly clean now mm, like fresh <laughs> all right let's head on out while we're out to town and pick up the metal work we're gonna be needing Well, that's a fancy gate, not what we're getting. I need to weld up a frame for our chimney kit out of this two by two stock. Before we do that, we gotta take the plow off the truck, and then we need to go get some hay for the goats. We're getting a little low, and hay is a little hard to come by right now, so we gotta go for a road trip and pick some up. Ready to go get some hay? Hay, okay, go for a ride. Yep, road trip. something like that on our new property, eh? Yeah. Yeah. 
boy, that would look nice on the off-grid property. Think of all the dairy goats and dairy cows we could have. You'd have a full-time job milking. I thought milking. it would be a nice craft barn. Craft barn? Yeah. Yeah, I could store a lot of crafts. We could do a lot of stuff in there. We made it back to the homestead. We need to unload our hay, but before we do that, let's get the Kubota running. We have some snow over here that we need to clean up. What are you doing, Ivy? You and little man buddies today? We haven't used the Kubota in quite a bit, so we better let it run for a while. Oh, she covered in snow. goats back in the barn so get some sunflower seeds here see if we can trick them to get them back in because I want to clean up where this gate is and if I do it while they're out in the pasture they'll be escaping. Right Willow? Yeah. Right, Willow.
That was easy. Hopefully we can get this area all cleaned out without getting the Kubota stuff. have a bump right here to keep the water running in under the gate from here and also I'm keeping the little baby goats from going under the gate so when I'm trying to plow right here it's kind of a pain in the butt and then also the frost is getting in the ground and it's shifting these posts a little bit so the gate latch isn't working the best so I need to, I need to see if we can get some more ice out of here and see if that'll start working better now. It spread the post a little bit, so now the gate latch isn't catching it. So for some reason, either this post went that way or, or that post went that way from the frost being in the ground. It didn't start getting like this until we started getting to the negative digits. That ain't gonna work. So for now, until it warms back up and the ground are frost. You need to groom us some walking trails. Yeah, I think this is the chickens are like in the fresh snow. Oh my like, what is this green stuff? We haven't had greens in how long? I'm gonna feed you ladies inside. You can eat your greens outside. Moose afternoon, dude. It 
hello out there. I see one egg. <laughs> oh. mm. They won't hold. Yes, one egg. Coming, Moose. Pluto, hey, that lettuce is for the chickens. But not for you. Come on, back up. Hey, smells like springtime. Leave it open. Hope you can't. Oh, we got two out. Yeah. Let two out. Come on. Come on, Nora. The dogs don't even know. Tanner, good girl, Hope. Oh my! What do you think you're doing, Hope? Huh? She just stood standing there. Yeah, she, she walked right up to the dog. You wanted to play with the dog? Oh, my goodness dog. gracious! Is that some good hay? Is that good? Hope you're as big as a house. How many babies you got? Seven or eight? All right. What are you doing? sweet potato casserole. So first I need to cook my sweet potato. So I'm choosing to use my instant pot because I figure that's the fastest way. So I am going to do a little over a cup of water just because I have eight, uh, eight quart instant pot. So a little bit over, over one cup. I'm going to do four sweet potatoes. Probably they're about medium size. All I did is scrub them. I didn't pull from the holes or anything. So. Manual 15. Now I gotta break it down. Oh yes. I have to get these out of here. All right. So I need to let them cool so I can be able to touch. I'm gonna be able to get the stuff out. I'll let them sit here for a few minutes, but I might do it before they get too cooled off because I want to get them in the oven. Okay, so I have about a third cup of maple syrup. Oh, I almost dropped it. I got this cute little spatula. Picked up a TJ Maxx the other day. I thought, what do I need this for? But it's, it works for so many things. I mean, I only use it twice, but. All right, and then I'll wait. So I gotta chop. I have pecans here. You say pecans or pecans, whatever. So just gonna give them a chop. And so a little less than two tablespoons of gluten-free flour. 
and then two tablespoons of butter and then it's just to mix it up and then stick it in the refrigerator while these are baking and then towards the end of the baking that's when this will go on top so I'm just going to scoop these into the mixing bowl And then two eggs, and put that in there. And it's a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So you do, I'll do two of these. I'm excited to try this. I don't know about the rest of the family. Okay, now I got my topping on the fridge. This has been baking for a little over 20 minutes. And I'm just, I'm gonna use this scooper because I'm not sure how to nicely put this on top. Maybe it will just spread out. Anyway, I'm just gonna scoop some and pump it up around it. It kind of melts right on here. All right, I got the topping all on. It smells really good, and now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 15 more minutes, and I'm going to get my cod ready to put that in the oven too. Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. Well, today was one of those days. There was a lot of things that needed to get done, which included a lot of running around. So it seemed like we got a lot done, but we didn't. If that makes sense. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just sometimes you got to do those kind of things thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead feels good to get the snow picked up that's one of those things it's like a never-ending task in the winter time it's almost like sweeping a dirt floor it just never ends so thanks so thanks for coming along if you like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps subscribe while you're down there if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres